Hi guys, welcome back to my battle tech run. Did everything here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, it seems the only option right now is to pass time. I got nobody to go in. There's one. Financial report already? Holy shit. Crew's ready for the... Okay, good. That's all I was waiting for. Shit, that cost me 200 grand. I waited a whole month. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's see. Okay. We got everybody up now. Okay. Let me see your store here before I leave. Uh, 
is that under oath to Congress that the border was no less secure than it was previously. Now, if that's true, well, let's look at the numbers. In the last two administrations, of Obama and Trump, uh, okay. He's three years deep. They had about 1.6 million illegal encounters. Then Joe Biden has 8.5 million. That's not just about like it was before. Uh, we never had a month that we had over 200,000 illegal border crossings. We had 20 under Joe Biden. Okay. I mean, the list goes on. I can take up the whole program and tell you how, uh, how, you know, how much chaos is on the border. And it needs to. You know, so it's so it's not all the work with him. And he says that he knows better. You can't just say that he's incompetent. He says this has to be intentional. Do you feel the same way? 100%. This is a willful and systematic refusal to comply with statutory law. I mean, it, it, it's, there's no other explanation for it. it how, how in the world did things explode? I mean, think about December was the worst month we'd ever had. 300,000 illegal encounters. Right. Under President Trump in fiscal year 2017, we had 300,000 all year. So it's you this is 12 times worse than it was before. So uh, you're going to go ahead with the articles of impeachment. You only have a two or three vote market. Do you have every Republican on board to pass this? Right now, it looks like there's one or two Republicans that are wavering. So we should, I think it will pass. I, I really do because Mark Green, Chairman Mark Green, my good friend from the Homeland Security Committee, has done an exceptional job here. And the other person that put it, uh, Al Alejandro Mayorkas, has perched himself. He's putting Americans in danger. I mean, opioid deaths have doubled uh, under the Biden administration. And that's We're nearly hundreds of thousands of American lives at stake here. So we, I think we must go forward. It's our constitutional duty to do so. So you have uh, the FBI is really concerned about the border. In fact, they came out and said the threat we pull today is new and unfamiliar in modern history. The U.S. has never suffered an invasion of homeland, and yet one is unfolding right now. Military age men from across the globe, many from countries and regions not friendly to the United States, are landing in waves on our soil by the thousands. I mean, right there, every American, not Republican or Democrat, uh, should be concerned with that. Uh, and we see it every single day. That's why you see the extreme circumstances where the Texas National Guard is pulling back the Border Patrol and says, we'll take it from here. And there's been zero crossings in uh, on Shelby Park. Yeah, well, think about the greatest geopolitical competitor, China. A couple of years ago, Brian, there were only 323 Chinese nationals that were encountered on the southern border. Last year, there were 24,000. So, yes, this is alarming. And, and it's it, Russian nationals as well have spiked dramatically. We don't even know who these people are. So, some, some even if 1% were saboteurs, what if China invades Taiwan and then there's a couple hundred or 500 Chinese national trained military men? So you can sabotage it in an open society. That's not that difficult. Right. Uh, so we have this border bill that is uh, going to be released, I guess, any day now. No one's seen the whole text outside Senator Langford, Senator Cinema, and Senator Murphy, and a representative from the White House. I don't know who it is. From what you know, from the highlights you have seen, do you like any part of this bill? I think it's just window dressing. I mean, maybe these senators want to feel good about themselves in cocktail parties, but you want to put some red teeth in this legislation. First of all, Brian. Joe Biden mm. can fix this today. He can fix it right now. He can fix it this morning by simply reinstituting Wake Mexico, which President Trump so brilliantly did. And if you go down to the border and ask the agents, what's the one thing that could really step this tide and mitigate it? Is they said just to reinstitute Wake Mexico, where your asylum claim will be adjudicated while you wait in Mexico. But Joe Biden refuses to do that. They're very eager to sue Texas, but they won't confront the Mexican drug cartels. So he, one of the things, a couple of things that they do do. They say the asylum claims are no longer going to be standing unless you have proof. They said if you just say I'm under threat, that's not going to work. They're going to throw you back right away. You're going to get, uh, within six months, you're going to get a review of your status. They're going to expand it, uh, the expedited deportations. Uh, they're going to get rid of catch and release. And they said there's going to be a threshold of 5,000. That'll be an automatic shutdown of the border. Uh, they hope not to get to 5,000, but they said there'll be an automatic shutdown if they get that, almost like the stock market would sit at a certain level of a sell-off. There's some of those things you can get on board with, right? Well, the even the five yes, but the five thousand is ridiculous. We can't normalize five thousand illegal encounters every single day. If that number was a thousand, then we could talk. In fact, I talked to some of the Republican senators about that, and they also had grave concerns about that five thousand number. This is a large number. That's you know, hundred fifty thousand a month. That would be normally back a few years ago. That would break records. So I definitely don't want to normalize that. That's a 
Shadowhawk Vindicator. Stubborn body fat permanently 
Even just one visit. Don't Save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to Sonobello.com. Ever feel the inside of your boot after you wore it all night? It's warm, damp, and dark, isn't it? Add in rain and snow, and you've got the perfect breeding ground for toe fungus. Beat winter toe fungus with Funky Cure Intensive Spray. The only crystal... No, McVay. ...and helps remove wetness on and between toes. There's nothing okay. without a prescription. I got two, I need four. Okay. To refit it. AC two. Last two years, the life been on my own. Uh, it's been really challenging in order to make ends meet. You know, the way you can see that I deal with so things like food, even though cost of food down, all food, groceries, and all the uh, necessities that if I can just say that's always done with a smile. Thanks to the United Way, even just like myself, to be grateful to Definitely need a heat sink. Where's the store? I need a heat sink. Where's it say? Uh, four tons overweight. Got jump jets. But an M laser. Pick up an M laser. Measles. 
This comes as new cases have been reported in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and the Washington, D.C. area. Dr. Mark Siegel, the best of the best, joins us now. Dr. Siegel, measles? Measles is keeping people up at night worried because we already saw it in Europe over the past year, over 30,000 cases, a 30 time fold increase in measles cases. And around the world, we're not seeing kids getting vaccinated. Only 83% of the kids in the world have had their first shot. What does that mean? If you don't get your measles shot, the measles shot works. One shot gives you 93% protection. If you don't get it, and get this, Katie, if you're in a room where measles is, and, you leave, and, and the person who had measles leaves the room, Two hours later, you can get measles in that room. What? If you're not vaccinated. That's how contagious measles is. Number okay. One, respiratory contagious virus. One you're next. You end up in the hospital from this. This isn't what we thought when I was growing up. What I mean, the hell? This can get you really, really sick. So, I like to think, I mean, that's, that's crazy to think about that. Two hours later, you could go into the room and get measles. The immediate thought that comes to mind, I mean, most of us have had the MMR vaccine. Measles is because not, uh, not enough vaccine. Again, people, there's a lot of sentiment against vaccines right now. This is extremely dangerous not to get this vaccine. Yeah, especially our young kids, as you mentioned, land in the hospital. But often, no. absolutely, I want to use this. This is remarkable. It's a study that claims colon cancer could be stopped by turning on a protein that gives like a light switch. How does this work? And you already asked the smartest question before we came on, which is could it work for beyond colon cancer? Yes. What this protein is, 270, it's a repair protein. You know what causes cancer? It's DNA breaking down and having mutations. You know what we do to DNA when it does that? We repair it. Not 100% of the time. If you can't repair your DNA, cancer can result. Colon cancer results from a lot of mutations occurring. This protein repairs the DNA. So what are the implications of this? Going forward, we can use this to mark people. If you don't have a lot of this protein, you may be more at risk for cancer. Maybe we're going to be able to infuse this protein in the future. This study was done in Australia, and it's groundbreaking. It shows you a path forward for genetic therapies for cancer. Now, how far down the road? I mean, if you're someone who has cancer, you're worried about cancer in your family history. Do we know how far down the road? Exactly. If it's in your family history, I think it's only a couple of years away from being able for me to have it as a marker where I can test it in someone's blood. Probably another five years after that, some treatments are going to come out of this. But this is personalized medicine. This is the road to, road to the future. Cancer is uh, due to mutations. We can reverse them. Yeah, we have colorectal cancer in the rise on young people, so this could be a game changer. It's on the rise because of lifestyle, because of too much weight, people not exercising, not eating right. This is absolutely a game changer. Dr. Mark Siegel, I think you're the best of the best. You brought it up today. I thought it takes you. You are the best of the best. Uh -huh. It's great to see you. Thank you. Let's check in with senior meteorologist Janice Dean for our Fox Weather Forecast. Janice. Yeah, hello, good morning. It's a cold uh, morning. We have a little bit of uh, wintry mix, some rain, a little bit of snow in Central Long Island. Let's take a look at the maps. This storm is exiting, which is good news. But you know what? The big story this week is going to be the record temperatures. These are potential record warm lows, so lows overnight uh, that are surpassing what they normally are. Okay, it's past time. Barracks. Move across much of the country with close to 200 million above average. So feeling almost like the beginning of spring instead of the end of January. Uh, the storm system across the northeast, that's going to exit. We do have some delays and some cancellations at the airports. Keep that in mind. Then we have a clipper system that is going to push across the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest. You can see that slug of moisture making its way across uh, the West Coast over the next couple of days, and that's going to be our next storm we're going to be watching. So, travel trouble, as I mentioned. How do I pass time? Shit. Also, Chicago, Seattle, and Los Angeles. Forecast high today. As you can see, lots of yellows and maybe a few reds here where temperatures are going to be very warm, which I think we'll take, although I, I wish we had a little bit more snow, but that's personal. 
Saved it, right? Okay. Excellent. We'll see you guys next time, okay?